Good morning, everyone. I do not have any Halloween decks. I have, I have this one called The Haunted House, but I can't find it. So I apologize, but happy Halloween. Happy Samhain. And this is your reading for Thursday, October 31st. <laughs> Now I'm just remembering the cards for yesterday uh, where we had the man and, and the child and sorry because I did not connect the dots that that very well could have been shopping for Halloween costumes or tools to finish up a Halloween costume. <laughs> you guys let me know how that reading came out for you. Anyway, this one is... Uh, Chero Marchetti's Kilded Reverie, Gilded, Kilded, what am I saying? Chero Marchetti's Gilded Reverie Lenema. And this deck has, um, I think, 40, yeah, there's 44 cards in it. So, anyway, I'll do 10 cards again, just like before. Sending you lots of, lots of love for the day. Okay, what do you guys need to know for today, for Thursday, Halloween, October 31st? I still am wondering, like, how many costumes we'll see with Trump with the, with the, with the, you know, a thing smacked on the side of his head to <laughs> represent that, that little tiny thing that he wore around for two weeks. Uh, although I know that that area is uh, area of the ears are ears are tender they are okay and he is a germaphobe there's that too but whew, get 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 that out of this reading huh <laughs> my goodness Thursday, October 31st. Right there. Okay. Ooh, we have the Garden Parks, which is really nice for getting out and being with other people. So it's also a, a card for, um, uh, what do you call, um, concerts and things like that. We have the Bear, which is money, power, protection, mama bear, but restaurants. And I feel like this has to do with maybe getting out and going to uh, a restaurant today with a friend, with a very trusty friend, or an outdoor restaurant, and you take your doggy with you. But these are our two cards for protection. Now, this one, I, I forget the name of it, but because it, it's not a it's not a standard, um, uh, it's it's one that they just put into this deck. But it looks to me like going through a bit of a maze, trying to find something. It's there all along. It's right there in the center. Maybe this has to do with the need to be centered so that we have success. That's probably a good rule every day, though, right? And then the sun is our primo success card. It's also a card for revealing something. And it could very well be, you know, because this... This card, the Garden Parks card, could also relate to um, shopping malls, shopping outlets. So shopping, maybe for a warm type of a, a costume earlier in this morning, or something to go with it, so that there's protection. And you're going around and around, and it takes time, but you do have success. That could be the case for someone out there. And then we have the book, which is research, and it could be online. Research, um, it could be something that's hidden, but then you find it later. This is also our a card for card readers. And here we have the lady ooh, and the man. Now they're looking in different directions, but this could be both parents trying to find the perfect thing for their child. Yeah, and that just working at it. Or maybe she says, I'll look online, and he goes, I'm going to the gym, because, you know, he's, he's the hot guy, right? 
but there's something today that has to do with time management, success over time, literally success over time. Uh, the man is successful getting something done that's very repetitive. I, you know, our, our whip card is repetition, working out. Uh, it, it can be abuse, but I don't see that. These, there is nothing around the, you know, this card to make me feel that like it has anything to do with abuse. So I, I'm canceling that word out of the, out of the reading because it's always about context and the influencing cards around the card. But it has to do with work, repetitive, over time, and then the, the success. I always look at the top row as having more power over the bottom row. Right? So this guy's on a mission to find something, and he is successful. And the, the whip is the action card that's under the bear, and the bear is about protection. And the dog is about protection. So there's something about looking for something that might be hidden or, yeah, looking for something that might be hidden out, out in public, uh, shopping. If I had the fish card, I'd say for sure it's about shopping. So let me look at it in another way in case it's not about shopping and you don't have little ones that you are um, shopping for with Halloween you know, last minute shopping. Uh, let's look at it in a different way. This could be if you're a card reader or if you want to go to a library today, it could be like going into a lovely cave that you just don't want to come out of and maybe you go with a friend. Maybe you even meet someone, but I still feel like because, you know, if these cards were facing each other, then I would say, for sure, doing it together, going together somewhere, or doing something together. <laughs> this card's our card for a quickie. <laughs> but they're not. They're not headed together. There's they're because I do read directionally. They're going in a different direction. She may have a secret. She's keeping from him, and he goes to work out or. I don't know, maybe there's something else. I don't know. To to take away the male and the female from it and just say receptive, uh, the feminine side of you, whoever you are, no matter how you identify, you're receptive to looking into secrets. This is Scorpio season. You're receptive to uh, research anywhere, online or in a library. You're receptive to law, the laws. Uh, you're receptive to all types of arcane wisdom. And, uh, you know, this, this is why this is the card reader. Uh, I'm sorry, um, card for card readers. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, because this card knights to, uh, to the lady. Hold on one second, I need to get some water. It's turning on the heater season, and it's getting to my throat, man. <laughs> Can't seem to drink enough water. Okay, so, but anyway, I, I, I think that this is the action. You know, if we look at this being receptive and the mail card being the action, and then next to an action card, but then kind of going in circles a little bit, it just, we're going to have to be patient. If we are acting or as we are acting to go towards our success, we need patience and it will, and we need to trust that it will come over time. And we need to trust ourselves, trust our uh, connections, trust our, if you're getting a card reading or a psychic reading today, uh, it's, it's, you know, if you're booked today with somebody, this is trustworthy. If you are uh, reading for yourself today, you're going to have you're going to give yourself a really good reading, and it'll prove out over time. So take good notes. Take a picture of the cards, you know, in your phone or whatever, whatever you use, phone or tablet, and 
Yeah. Okay, so let's try doing some mirroring. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much about protective action with the knighting here. Now, because I didn't do three rows, I can't knight up and down, but um, the reading would be way too long if I did that for these little dailies. Um, but the mirroring has to do with success, being out with, with the public, uh, or at least getting out for a walk, especially if it's sunny, okay? Um, and then it, it, there could be some just wanting to return back to the cave, you know, like the mama bear in her cave, or looking for the best restaurant with a, with a trusty friend. Like I said before, there's that possibility. And then mirroring down here, again, research, cards, you know, card readings, psychic readings, arcane wisdom, all of that over time uh, will get you your answer. And this could even be researching into the past gets you your answer. And that action to, to go towards what you're looking for will prove successful because the sun is up here. It's a very strong card in the deck. And, and yeah. I think that's it. Could be that the man... Well, the masculine part, it could be both both things, too. The masculine part of us, the active part of us, has great success today. And the feminine side of us does as well, because we don't mind, you know, if I just look at this in a different way, circling in and going around and around, looking at different friends, uh, you know, things of the past, players, um, whatever, to get to that, what does it mean to you answer. Right, because you're the center here. So, okay. Well, that's all I have for today. <laughs> have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>